Yo, what's poppin', what's shaking? what's good? It's a bit chilly here this morning. How's it going? Tap of the morning to you, laddie. It's a bit chilly here this morning, laddie. You like sweet and hot? I thought what I might do is share with you one of our favorite family recipes for sweet, hot, remanufactured pickles. That's right, remanufactured pickles. My sister-in-law, apparently, she had an uncle. This is the story. She had an uncle. It was a dentist in Saudi Arabia, and he picked up this recipe, deceptively simple, in Saudi Arabia. Now, I don't think it's Saudi Arabian food, mind you, but I have no idea. It was one of the most delicious things we make, and it's super simple. Remanufactured pickles, yo. It's quite a storm last night. Whew. Cannot go kneeboarding in this. Now the first step, as I'm sure you can imagine, is to make some pickle. Now the beauty of this recipe is that you begin with a commercially made pickle that you remanufacture. But before we get into the recipe, let's take a look at the Earl's pickle making process. We should pick them and, and, and then lay them up so for pickle. Watch out, don't step on the planters. What you got, your blankies? What we got going? What are we doing? This one's mine! We're having our own pickle We're gonna be sandwiches. pickling? We're, Mom's selecting all the pickles. Oh, look at Whoa! Oh, that's a great one. Whoa, you know, a little hot pepper in there. Oh. Just pull it. You can't, you gotta be careful you don't ruin the other pickle. Hi, honey. No. I don't have anything. In lieu of first growing your own and pickling your own sweet pickles to begin with, what I'm gonna suggest is something that we often do, which is to remanufacture the pickles. And what I mean by this is, in the ingredients, the first ingredient is a 24 ounce jar of any variety of hamburger sweet style pickles. 26, One 24 ounce jar of any sweet hamburger style pickles. One two ounce bottle of traditional Tabasco sauce. You're gonna need two cups of granulated sugar. Cheating. You don't touch those pickles for two weeks. Shake every day. Don't taste them, don't even think about it. Don't, don't even, don't think about cheating. No cheating, no cheating. You don't touch those pickles for two weeks. You shake every day and you don't touch those pickles for two weeks. Over the course of a two week period, the sugar, you'll watch as the sugar slowly gets absorbed back into the pickles. But don't touch them. Shake every day and don't touch. 